designer shoes. Which one do you actually need? How to build the perfect collection and don't waste your money buying things that you won't actually use. So I have 15 years of designer shoes, 15 more. I have 16 years of designer shoes wearing and buying and experience. The first designer shoe that I got, I was 15. I'm 31 now and was a ballerina flat from Chanel. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us because I wore that shoe. Death, literally, it was dying at the end of it. We talk a lot about handbags here in the luxury or shopping or whatever you want to call community on YouTube. But I don't feel like we talk enough about shoes and how to build a collection. We're always debating which is the best bag for you, size, feet, colors, whatever. And not enough about shoes. That's my own opinion. So today I want to come up with what I thought about and designed it in my mind the perfect design shoe collection i have a few of my pieces to show and i'm gonna let you know which one maybe i did wrong or would be different which what i need next so that will be fun and the first shoes that i have they are a bit the raise it they raise a debate okay i love it some people don't but we'll disclose that right now so we are talking about the hermes Oha sandals i have two or maybe half because they don't look as pretty right now. So this one, I don't wear it anymore. It's it's a mess. I should like let go of it, but I still haven't. This is the Noir. I have this for 12 years, 12 years. And three years ago when I was in a trip, it just like, I just can't anymore. So I'm gonna to rebuy that. Um, the reason some people don't like those shoes is because they think they are loud. I walk with them perfectly. I don't think they are loud at all. It all depends on your walking and how you carry yourself, in my opinion. But do try this and walk or try something similar with a wood, um, a wood sole to see if it bothers you. But I think the way I walk doesn't make that much noise and doesn't bother me. And nobody ever told anything about me. Like I have parents that it would be like, why are you making so much noise walking? Never, ever. So it passed the test with me. The Oha sandals, I think the one, why I'm specifically choosing this one over any other brand or shoes is because they are so timeless, so classic, that sometimes classic can be boring or then can be like too of a huge of a trend and then they try to make classic and it doesn't stick. But the Ohan Sandal, they are the most comfortable, easy to wear, easy to pack, easy to style shoes that I ever had. So I got this 12 years ago. I got this eight years ago. The white one, so the pro I had the problem is I used to wear I go to the beach a lot, okay? So I'm Brazilian, we're all traveling to the beach, yes, sunny summer most of the year. So I used to wear this at the beach. And in one trip, this is what happened to this. Like I actually got it wet by mistake. Like I used to wear it to the beach and not get this wet. But I got this wet and whatever. So that's why this is in this condition. So I want to talk about colors. I would want to choose one next that would replace both of them. And I'm dreaming that one day I'll find Anna her sandals in a trench color or one of these beige nude colors. Something that feels nude in my skin tone. So that's not the caramel one. I think it's too tan and too, you know, with Christian vibes. I don't know. I have a problem with the gold color in Hermes. In me, I don't love it. So something like that I would buy. And that would be my forever sandals. Of course, I would not wear this to the beach anymore. So what I recommend is that you find something that is neutral to your skin tone. That way you can wear it with white, 
beige, black, brown, and all the colors in the rainbow that you want. So that's why I think you only need one. I'm looking for this perfect one. As soon as I find it, I'll let you know. The reason we're picking this second shoe next, so the second shoes, is because of the bad experience in traveling with those shoes and ruining them. They're perfect, it was just me. Is a flip-flop. If you never go to the beach, maybe that doesn't make sense to you. But truly, you do need something this occasion, right? Even if one trip a year, you need something to wear by the pool or at the beach. And hopefully, you don't want to ruin your shoes like I did. I have these two pairs of Valentino flip-flops. And that's not something that I'm recommending right now. Just because they are so colorful, that's not what I would take to short trips. That's how I ruined my Oha sandals because sometimes it doesn't ma they don't match like if I could do I work with swimwear so I have swimwear of every color and shape and forms and these like I would have to make like pack a weekend just with things that would match these or that so they are beautiful they are comfortable they're very durable this one I have for 12 years also this one no, this one I have for 12 years also. And this one I have for around eight or seven years. I don't remember sure that much. I remember this because I got in a trip, but I use them, especially when I can pack more and whatever, I always take them. But still, I have a better option. This one I got one year ago, one year and a half ago. And it's also Valentino. I really like the, their bitches beach flip-flops because they like they're very durable comfortable they don't like do anything with my feet some of some brands they can be a little irritating on the skin these are perfect and this one is very neutral i got it as a, it as a gift from my sister in a birthday so out two years ago maybe one or two years ago so if I were buying this to myself, I would probably think I want one color only, but this is perfect. Exactly one year ago, now I remember, because I took this to my in my trip to Egypt and literally it matched all my outfits, all my outfits. Of course, if I wanna wear something too bright on the beach, maybe it doesn't, but with the right bag and everything, this is perfect. So. I extremely recommend something like jelly or plasticky for the beach and the Valentino ones are amazing. I'm gonna link a few options here for the all the shoes that I'm talking about and yes, I think this is amazing. The third shoes were still on the basic and chill vibes of shoes and that's a white sneakers so i got this three years ago they were never white here they were a little bit beige but yeah i wore this last weekend a lot so it does need some cleaning they are very easy to clean and keep white to be honest so this is the trend sneakers chanel is the worst at naming their shoes because they always have the same name so this is three years old so from collection of three years ago these were my best purchase in the last 10 years like really i wear this so much like casually and i'm not a sneaker person even if you're not a sneaker person if you have something that you feel like you're still dressed up in then a nice white sneakers is the way to go i like this they're them to be a little bit chunkier not Triple S Balenciaga Chunky. Maybe actually I would try that, but this is a little bit chunkier. But Jar makes those very Converse style and Chanel one if you want something smaller. The reason why I like something a little bit bulkier, not too much, but a little bit bulkier, is because it makes your legs smaller. As for if it's like a small sneakers, I don't know, it just I just feel like my it doesn't feel right in my feet. It just feels like I'm smashing the shoes, like the proportions, maybe because I'm tall, but the proportions 
they are not good so this has the perfect proportion i wear this a lot with short stuff so um skirts and shorts and the legs just look perfect yeah for like anything casual perfect 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 you must have a white sneakers nice nice white sneakers so the fourth item that i want to talk about i don't have a designer one and that's a city boots i used to have one from a brand that i love 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 from a brand called Alex alexandre Beerman here in brazil which is also also sells all around the world you might see it in sacks whatever all the stores you have a, they have a store at or harvard in miami they sell in new york they sell in Europe, they are everywhere. It's from a designer here in Brazil. And I had these boots that were perfect, like the perfect city boots. But I wore it so much, so much over the years. I think I had it for six or seven years that by the end, like, I always send my shoes to be like clean and restored every once in a while. But at this point, it was just too much. I couldn't. so. I actually took it to a trip to like a ski trip and just left it there because there was no point trying to save it. So on my next ski trip, I needed something. We don't wear, we don't need here in Brazil chunkier boots as much, more for the style but not for the weather. So I was looking for the one, the one from Fendi. I'm sure you've seen that, and I never found it in neutral colors. There were some. At the time there were, it was, was right before, it was two years ago. So at the time there was a baby blue one, a baby pink one. And I wanted something brown or black, something very neutral. So I found this dupe just for the trip because I was in Zurich searching for it. And three days later we we're going to Bistad. So I found this totally dupe, totally copy in Zara. And I've been wearing this ever since. Like I thought, you know what? I'm gonna buy something for Zara, from Zara, so I can just have something to wear on this trip. And then, with patience and calm, I'll find I'll find the perfect one. I never did. I never found the perfect one until last year. I've seen the one from Jean Vito Rossi, and it's perfect. But I never find it in black or dark, dark brown in my size here in Brazil. I haven't been traveling, so here in Brazil I mean Farfetch. That's the only way, I, the only place that ships here. So I'm looking for it. I have alarms, whatever, and I would buy that boots. That's, that would be my perfect city boots. But for now on, I have this one, which, you know what? I wore this for the bucks that I paid. Like I wore this a lot, I still wear it. So it's amazing. I only wear it here when it's raining and I need to walk outside. But yeah, I've been wearing this a lot since I got it two years ago. So we need to replace, I want to replace that for something nice. So I'm looking for the Jean Vito one, but maybe that's not your style. You don't want something too edgy. Maybe you want something more classic. Then I would go for some riding boots. I would buy myself riding boots like the jumping boots from Hermes, but that's not something that I would want to wear as a city boot, as every time boot. So that doesn't make my list of 10 whole grail designer shoes. So yeah, but if you want something, maybe you have different style, you don't like things too edgy, I would go for something like a riding boot and you have them from Prada, you have them from Gucci, you have them from Chanel, you have them from even Fendi. You know, there's a lot of options. Jimmy Shoe makes amazing ones. So yeah, there's a lot of options. I will leave some recommendations here. And a little note down here, maybe it's something that you should check just to see what I'm talking about. So let's go to the elegant shoes. Something that I think you really need is a black, in my opinion elegant festive shoe something that speaks for itself not something neutral but something that elevates your look here is my choice so i really like that it's, it has some jewelry on it some details some pearls some blink 
because this I can wear with a basic little black dress and feel like a million bucks but I also can wear this with jeans and a black pillow top and be cool yet dressy to a casual meetup or dinner so this is something I think you really need I recommend black but if you're 100% into neutral colors only then yes go for it but yeah I 100% recommend black and the brand that has this done perfectly like amazing is Jimmy Choo I'm gonna leave some options in the screen and down here I might get another one I'm not sure why I can't justify it but just because I love those shoes from Jimmy Shoes but I had a bad experience with Jimmy Shoe I only had one shoe I tried to wear it once and it just ruined my feet maybe I should have given it a little bit more time it's been a while I don't even know if it was a classic shoe at the time at the time but I'm not sure if things change it if they still if these shoes still exist but it just ruined my feet so much that I actually sold it on the first on the first wear like after I tried to wear once and I never sold a, sold a shoe like that was the first and the only shoes that I've sold so that's why I haven't I didn't buy any Jimmy shoes ever again but I've been loving their collection so much lately the classic one these kind of shoes that I might need to try again, you know? So they are really beautiful. If I had experience with them, let me know if they're comfortable. I'll link the ones that I've been loving down below. So next, next, next is something that I still want. And that's a classic mousse or pump in a light color. So I have the Louboutins one, but I just think Louboutin looks dated. I don't know, I can't stand to look at Louboutin again. So I didn't even bring it to this video. What I've been wearing is this Aquazura one. So these are like Aquazura has the most comfortable shoes, in my opinion. Them and Alexander Biermann, they have like the most comfortable and Manolo, of course, but most perfect shoes and comfort that I've ever seen. So I've been wearing this so much, maybe because it matches my Kelly. The color, the it took one this like this top color, so it matches a lot. I've been wearing this so much, but I'm obsessed with the heels that I'm gonna show you next, and I want that in beige. So pump or mousse, it depends on your style. If you want something very very basic and classic, I would go for some pumps or some bling bags like that. If you want something a little bit more modern and a little bit trendier but still classic, then I would go for mousse and I'm gonna show which one that I want for these shoes for me next so in position number 6 on my list there is some smart black shoes so this is smart for me, okay? so this is what I call smart in my lifestyle if I want something a little bit dressier that I can go to meetings, like special meetings or whatever or even dress up something casual they may say almost from Manolo is like the perfect one the perfect one the first one that I got is in this one is another one that I'll show you but yeah why black because I just think black is something that I wear a lot it matches with a lot of my stuff but you can go with the neutral that you wear the most maybe brown or, ne or nudes or even light pinks white whatever you wear the most something smart shoe doesn't need to have heels probably not so this could be a ballerina flat this could be a loafer this could be a flat mousse something that you feel smart in and that's my suede black may say mousse for me i love it i'm obsessed that's why I'm considering buying it in beige or a light color to add maybe in place of my Aquazuha ones because they are very taupe, they are not too neutral on me, on my skin. See, they look a little bit gray grayish. So if I wanted to get something neutral, then probably I would get this one, but the price 
on farm fat right now is a little bit higher than I paid for this, so I'm debating. Oh, and they, they don't have the exactly side that I need. It's just a point up or down, I don't remember. So yes, I've been debating if I should get it while it gets in stock. For me, this is the perfect height because it's comfortable, but give me a little bit of a smart look. But you can go with anything flat, whatever feels comfortable for you that you can go to this kind of more smart, important events or meetings or lunches or whatever. In your style, I would 100% consider, consider getting a loafer, but that's something that I wouldn't reach as much for. I'm not sure, maybe, maybe I would have a little bit of trouble styling it with some of my clothes. So this works best for me, but do have a pair of black smart shoes, shoes that feel smart and elegant in, and that's the one for me. Another pair of shoes that I want to talk about is some boots with heels. I got this recently, it's in my last video, my Farfetch haul. So this one is from Paris, Texas. I don't even consider this luxury just because it sells on Farfetch. It's not a brand that has this kind of history and heritage to talk about but yes you can like jimmy shoes have some of them whatever i wanted something that i wouldn't be too precious about so i went for perry texas which it's not that cheaper but i don't know it's just something that i wouldn't mind needing to replace so i got this this month I showed you in my last video I'm obsessed with it because sometimes you don't want to have like too of a flat look or a, you know straight look you want something a little more elevate and I think you need two boots in your life one flat one high heel and this I chose in the chunkier heel, so it's a little bit more casual and not too sexy, you know. This with pants has been my best friend. I love it. I would 100% get it in another color just for fun. But in black, it's what I wear the most. But again, choose the neutral that you wear the most. For me, it's black. Maybe something to do with my hair. I just think black is always fitting the outfit, even if I'm wearing all white or all whatever. This black just fits, so that's the one that I chose. I want to talk about one party heels. Like, I go to parties a lot. Maybe if you follow me, you've been seeing like I always have weddings and events and formals and galas, whatever. And I have more than one shoes. But I always, always, always go back to this one. So most of my partying, like, gown shoes are from Alexandre Biermann. Maybe you don't know him. They're not, it's not a brand that is very discussed here. But he does a lot of red carpet. Like a lot, a lot. There's a reason why I love it so much. And they love it so much for red carpet and events and wearing with gowns because they have simple designs, they are elegant and they are extremely, extremely comfortable. That's the brand that I talk about, the boots that I had, but their heels, it's to die for. So this one, I had it for, there was something like, these were separate to go, um, to being treated because on the last party, I had my heel in something like, I don't know the name, how do you call it? Where the water goes down the street, so it ruined the heel. So yeah, this is going to the shop to be fixed. It. But this is a graffiti, silver kind of leather, high heel, thin strap that you buckle it's very simple yet very elegant it looks phenomenal on the legs and the feet it's amazing so this one i had so here in brazil you can have special orders so there is pk i had this 
done for my sister's wedding, which was six years, no, five years ago. Five years ago. And I love it. I love it. So I have an other colors and shoes, but this kind of color just, I don't know, just go with everything that I wear, like all the pretty dresses and everything. Maybe you don't have a lot of parties, like full glam to go, but you do have like night outs and clubs or dinners and you want something a little more like neutral and elegant, I would go with a metallic, so either silver or gold, whatever you prefer. For me, this is what I have most jewelry worn. It's white, white gold, so that's why I chose this one. I'm not sure if you can do the special order outside of Brazil. Maybe you can. I'll let you know if I discover this in the description below. So some another brand that does this very well is Jambito Rossi. From time to time, they have this collection of classic and easy to style like very you know minimalist and delicate heels i have a lot that i've been looking for i wouldn't go for something too modern on the heel they they do this but something delicate like thin heels high heels stiletto heels like that just amazing so i'm gonna link some options here down below and then for last in the 10th Tenth position, I want something fun, some shoes that you just have fun with. So the reason why is because sometimes I'm gonna wear jeans and a white tee and a basic basic black, and you wanna wear some your fun shoes. You know, you want something to add to the look. You don't need them. You can 100% wear any of the other shoes, literally any of the other nine shoes that I talked about here. But if you enjoy fashion and having fun with fashion like me, maybe you need at least one front shoes. And first, I was going to say something red. Because I just think red goes so well in neutrals outfits, even with black and white or beige or brown. I would say something red because these were my favorite pair of shoes for a long time. It still is, maybe. I try not to wear it a lot because i love it so much it's very special to me so this is the wild thing from akazuha it was big remember i think this was the first shoes from akazuha that actually went viral like everyone had it and the red one was the most special one it took me so long to find the shoes i actually found this i actually didn't find this in miami like six years ago and then I didn't find this in Italy six years ago in the same year. And then I actually found it the next year at Farfetch. They still have this. They still have this in store. It's not as crazy as a trend, but I just love how it looks on the feet. It's amazing. So these red shoes was to be my fun shoe that I would go to a lot. I haven't been wearing much heels like this outside of parties like thin heels, stiletto heels. So maybe that's why I don't reach for this as much anymore, but I still wear it and love it. But I would want to get something like a fun shoes. Like if I was going to restart my collection, my fun shoes right now would be probably a sling bag or a pump or a mousse in red, like a bright red, because that's just so easy to combine. And I think closed toes shoes are just more easy to style in different weathers and like, I don't know, doesn't it feel weird to wear something over too if you have a jacket? I don't know, it just feels for me. So lately, my fun shoes has been the most, exactly the same one as the black one. The May Sale Mousse from Manolo Blahnik, I cannot stress how much I love the shoes. Maybe it fits these 10 categories for you. Maybe you want this as your light color, classic shoes, or you want as your smart black shoes like I am, or you want this as your party shoes, maybe in something metallic. But this is the most comfortable, elegant, fun, trendy, and still classic shoes that I've ever seen. 
So this is my fun color. I got this as a celebration for launching exactly this collection in my brand. So this is a shirt, but I'm wearing it as a jacket. And we had, a, this was a very hard collection to, to launch it. Because of the pandemic, it was five months delayed. And when it finally launched, it was a huge success. I wanted something to celebrate it. And that's what I got. So you might think it doesn't match exactly, but this, like, if I come closer, there is a green in this. And a lot of the other stuff on the collection is exactly the shade of green. So I got this a little bit celebratory gift. I didn't thought I would wear this that much. I wear this like crazy. So this has been my fun shoes recently. It's okay to change your sh shoes in a few years, but I have this for over a year and a half now, and I'm still think this is a great fun shoe. While the wild things from Aquazuha, they were my fun shoes for like six to seven years. So yeah, I still have a lot of other shoes, but these were the shoes that I thought would be worth mentioning and how to build a collection. If you have those 10 shoes, you 100% don't need anything else. Truly, you don't. You can want it, you can buy it, but you don't need it. So I hope this list was useful. If you want to see this kind of list, like maybe the jackets I think you need, the pants I think you need, the dresses I think you need, whatever, let me know if it, this was a nice topic to reach for. I'm working on my 10 perfect bag list. I'm still not, I don't know, my head's a little bit cloudy still with bags after the incident, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to talk about it anymore. We've talked about it enough, but yeah, I'm trying to build my perfect 10 designer bags list. As soon as I have it, I will share and I'm going to leave you with two more videos that you haven't watched so i see you there